Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to manage sensitive information, especially when you're working with Azure Databricks. It's very, very crucial that when you are trying to use Notebook to access sensitive information that you don't just put in your password, your username within your Notebook. Um, you could use the Azure Key Vault, store all of your sensitive information on the Azure Key Vault and be able to read them in an encrypted way into your Databricks Notebook. I'm going to be doing all of that to show you how to go about that. First, I'm going to be creating a resource group. The resource group, I'm going to be having all of that data. I'm just going to paste this to say this is the resource group I want. I want this to be in the UK South. Um, I think I, I don't need anything. It's just to create this. And after that, I'll be creating two resources that I'll be using. The first resource I'm going to be creating is the key vault. So I'll look for key vault. And I create. I'm going to give the key vault a name. It's going to be within my resource group that I just created. I'll give it a name and I could say um, this. I think this is free and I could use this. And I'm also going to change the location to where I am currently. Change the location to UK South. Um, so the location is the same with the resource group location. Present here, I'm just going to leave it on standard. Everything here is good. Um, I just review and create. So why the deployment for this is in progress, I'm going to go back. Let's go back to our resource group and we're going to create an Azure Databricks. I'm going to be creating an Azure Databricks workspace. Create. I'm going to give it a name. The region is the same. I'm going to leave this on a premium tier, the pricing tier. Everything here looks good. I go to my networking. I leave this as it is. Go to next, 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 and I create and review this. And when the validation is succeeded, we can create our Databricks workspace. So my deployment is completed and the two resources I'm trying to create, the Azure Key Vault and my Databricks workspace has been created. I go to the resource. And when I come to the resource, this is for my Databricks workspace, but I'm more interested in my Key Vault and I'm going to click on the Key Vault. When I click on the Key Vault, I go to Secrets. So I get this pop-up saying the operation is not allowed by the rollback, role-based access control. So it's just telling me that I need to create a permission before I'm able to create any kind of secret. So what I'm going to do is to go to my access control. On my access control, I come to role assignment. I see that no role has been assigned for this. I click on add. I'm going to add a role assignment. So I'm, this will give me the ability to be able to create my secret. What I'm looking for is the key vault secret officer because this is able to perform any action on the secret except manage permission. When I click on that, we can go to next. Let's assign a member and the member I'm going to assign is myself. Assign myself as the member. I click on select. Click on select. I go to next. And we can now review and assign this. It's going to take only a couple of seconds and when that is completed, we can go back to secret. And the pop-up I have is out. I'm going to generate new. So let's create a name and the name is going to be called Databricks Secret. For the secret value, let me just use a name. Let me just use test. So let's just use test. And I'm going to leave this as it is, leave every other thing as it is, I can now create. So I've created a new secret called Databricks secret. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my Databricks and I will launch my Databricks workspace. My Databricks workspace has been launched. If I go to workspace here, I can come to workspace and create a new notebook. Let me call this notebook a test or demo notebook okay 
how do I create the connection between Databricks and the data vault that I have in Azure portal? I have a Microsoft documentation open here. I'm going to leave the link to this documentation on the description. And it gives you a description on how to create an Azure Key Vault based secret scope because now I'm going to be creating a scope. You can also do this using the CLI, but I'm not going to be speaking about the CLI. I'm going to be talking about how you can do it with the um, URL. If you go to the URL, when you come to this place, it say go to this link and you replace the Databricks instance with your own Databricks. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I'll click on this. I'll duplicate this page. I'll duplicate this and go to this place and copy the scope up to where I have my hashtag. I copy this. I've done um, command C. I come to the duplicate that I have. I go to the URL here. And I'm going to remove everything here until I get to my hashtag and I'll paste. So this is saying that give me the URL of my workspace and this, and then I'm adding the secret scope to it. I click on enter. When I click on enter, it brings out a new dialog to tell me create secret scope. And I'm going to be creating a secret scope. I'm going to call it my secret. It's just a name. You could give it whatever name as is required manage principle i don't want to create for all workspace users i want to create for only myself and dns name how do i get a dns name i go back to my azure portal on my azure portal i look for my key vault uh, on the azure portal i look for my key vault i click on it if this is closed collapsed you can expand this and you look for your properties Click on properties. On the properties, you find the DNS URL, which is the vault URL. I copy this. I go to this place and I'm just going to paste that. My resource ID. What is my resource ID? I come back to this place. Resource ID, resource ID is this. I copy my resource ID. I go back to my Azure Data Bricks, I paste this. And when I'm done, I click on create. The secret scope name my secret has been added. I click on OK. I'm not doing anything complicated in this video, it's just to show you how to do that connection. What we're going to be doing next is to test if this connection has been created. I have another Microsoft documentation and the Microsoft documentation gives you um, a way, it gives you the script on how to kind of test this. I'm going to be copying this first one and taking it to my notebook that I just created. I'll just change a few things here. I could say test secret. And for this name, this name is going to be my secret. that I just created, that's for my scope. So the name of my scope is my secret. And for the key, the key is going to be, go to the Azure portal on the overview, secret. The, this, this is what we are going to be copying, the secret that I created. I'm going to copy this, I come back here, and that's going to be the username. I paste this. We just wanna test this to see if this actually worked. So the next thing, I'm going to create a compute that I'll be using for this. So let's create a compute. I'm just going to create a personal compute. Leave everything as it is because it's something I'm just going to delete in no time. Let's create a personal compute for this and I'm going to click on create. So I've created my cluster. After creating the cluster, I'm going to go back to my notebook. When I execute this, I'm going to have an error and I'm going to explain what that error means. Click on execute. And I'm getting this error. And why this error is there is because I've got a Databricks workspace and I've got the Azure portal. There's really no way for this to communicate because I've not created a connection between this and my Azure portal. So when I come to my Azure portal, I'm going to go to access control. On the access control, I have the role assignment. 
Now, I have a role assignment on my user account to be able to create a secret. But I need another role assignment to be able to read a created secret. To do that, I'm going to add, add role assignment. And this role assignment, I'll come down and I'm going to look for the key vault secret user because this enables me to read secret content, only works for key vault. I'll go to next, select members. I'm going to give access, not to my name this time around, but I'm going to give the access to my Azure Databricks. So I give access to my Azure Databricks to be able to read this. I click on select. I go to next, review and assign. It takes a couple of seconds and I'm going to go back to my Azure Databricks once this is completed. So this should work now. And if I should execute this, everything seems fine. If I want to print out my test secrets, let me say print test secrets. This shows me redacted. So it shows that this has been redacted, meaning that the connection has been created. The scope, the, the key, the keys have been created in the key vault and the scope has also been created. And this is how you can protect sensitive credentials when you're working with Azure Databricks and you're writing um, your script on your notebook. Thank you. See you in my next video. Bye for now.